A farmer has 60 hens in his poultry farm. Each of these 60 hens lays one egg per day. On each day out of the eggs laid, some of the eggs are found to be rotten and some of the eggs are, uh, get broken. Only the eggs that are neither rotten nor broken are taken to the market for sale but due to some unavoidable reasons, some eggs are not sold. The eggs that are not sold are brought back to the poultry farm. Additional information given is, out of the eggs that are brought back on each day, 40% are rotten and 20% are broken the next morning and they are always integers. Out of the eggs that are brought back to the poultry farm on each day, the eggs that are neither broken nor rotten are taken along with the eggs that are laid by the hens on the next day to the market for sale. On any particular day, the number of eggs that are not sold is less than 20% of the number of eggs that are taken to be sold out of the eggs that are laid on each day. Out of the eggs that are laid on each day, the number of eggs that are rotten is greater than 1 but less than 5. That means the number of rotten eggs could be either 2 or 3 or 4 and the number of eggs that got broken is greater than 3 but less than 7. That means it could be either 4 or 5 or 6. Every week has 5 days and each week starts from day 1 and ends on day 5. Assume there are no eggs with the farmer at the beginning of day 1 of the given week. Now, let's understand this. Every day 60 eggs are laid. They are taken uh, to the market for selling. Some eggs got rotten, some gets broken. And some are sold. The remaining are brought back. Next morning, out of the remaining which were brought back, some get rotten and broken. And they are again taken to the market along with the 60 eggs that were laid on the next day. And the same thing gets repeated for the 5 days of the week. Now, to solve this, we would prepare a table of how many eggs were sold in each day. Fine. This is day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4 and day 5. Now, every day 60 eggs were laid. So, there were 60 eggs every day. Also, the number of eggs that get rotten every day are either 2 or 3 or 4 so it could be 2 or 3 or 4 2 or 3 or 4 2 or 3 or 4 2 3 4 and 2 3 or 4 eggs which get broken are either 4 or 5 or 6 so I write 4 5 6 here 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6 and 4, 5, 6. Now, understand what would have happened day 1. We know that every day the eggs that are brought back are not more than 20% of the eggs that are laid every day. We know that every day 60 eggs are laid. So, the number of eggs that are brought back cannot be more than 20% of 60, that is 12. Maximum could be 12. Also, I know that 20% of the eggs get broken and 40% are rotten. So, and they are always integers. That means 20% of some number should be an integer and 40% of the same number should again be an integer. And to to the uh, for the num for these number to be an integer the minimum value of 20% can be 1 and 40 for 40% it can be 2 so 1 is a 20% of 5 and 2 is a 40% of 5 the next possibility is for the 20% the next minimum value is 2 2 is a 20% of 10 and in that case the 40% of 10 would be 4 fine the next minimum value of 20% is 3 3 is a 20% of 15. I know that 15 x cannot be brought back. For a simple reason, the maximum value of x that are brought back is 12. So, from here, I can be sure that the x which are brought back are x which are brought back are either 5 
or 10. So these are the only two possible values when their 20% and 40% will be integers and less than 10. Fine. Next. Now what is the number of x which can be sold? Let's see. x which are sold. First I will see the minimum x which can be sold. Let's see uh, what can be the minimum number of x that can be sold in a day. To sell minimum number of x in a day, the number of rotten, broken and brought back x should be maximum. That is 4, 6 and 10 respectively. That is total 20. So it means the minimum of x that can be sold in a day is 40. And for uh, maximum could be in that case, the rotten, broken and brought back should be minimum. That is 2, 4 and 5, total 11. So uh, out of 60, 11 are not sold. That means 49 are sold. So day 1, one can sell a minimum of 40x and a maximum of 49x. Day 2. Now, day 2. If I see 5x are brought back, out of the 5x, 2x can be taken to the market because 20% and 40%, that is a total of 60% cannot be taken to the market. If 10x are brought back, only uh, 4x can be taken to the market. So, out of 60, uh, with, uh, with 60, additional 2 or 4x can be taken to the market depending on the number of x that were brought back previous night. Now, in this case, let's see what is the minimum number of x that one can sell in a day. To get the minimum, we will again assume the rotten and the broken were maximum, that is 4, 6. The brought back were again maximum, that is 10. That means 20. And to minimize this figure, we will assume that previous night, 5 eggs were brought back, so only 2 extra can be taken to the market. So 40 plus 2, 42 is the minimum which can be sold in a day. Similarly, to maximize that, we will assume that previous night 4, uh, 10 x were brought in back. Sorry, 10 x were brought in back, and out of them only extra 4 can be taken to the market. So 40, uh, sorry, 49 plus 4 it will become 53. So a maximum of 53 can be sold. The same story will continue for the next five days. 42, 53, 42, 53, and 42, 53. One has to understand that. 42 and 42 cannot be sold on two consecutive days simultaneously because if one day I am selling 42, that means I am bringing back 10x that day. If I am bringing back 10x that day, that means next day I will have extra 4x to sell. Fine, not 2x. So I cannot have 42x sold on two consecutive days simultaneously. This will give an idea about the next question. Find the minimum possible aggregate number of x sold on day 4 and day 5. Now, the same thing. We know that the minimum possible x that can be sold on day 4 is 42. And if 42 are sold on day 4, that means 10 are brought back for day 5. Out of the 10, only 4 will be usable and will be taken to the market next day. Besides that, out of the 60 x, 4 will get rotten, 6 will get broken and 10 will be brought back. That means 40 are left for selling. So 40 plus 4, 44 will be sold next day. So 42 plus 44, that is a minimum of 86 x were sold on day 4 and day 5 together. Next, if the number of x that got rotten and broken is maximum possible in a particular way, then find the difference between the total number of x that got rotten and that number of x that got broken across all the 5 days of the week. Let's see. We know that the number of out of the 60 x, the maximum number of x that got rotten every day is 4. So 4 into 5, 20. And out of the x that are brought back, I will assume that every day 10 x are brought back. So a maximum uh, of 40% are rotten out of them, fine. So 40% of 10 would be 4. That means 4 into 4, 16x are rotten out of the x which are brought back. 
because the broadback x will be calculated only for day 2, day 3, day 4 and day 5. So a total of 36 x are rotten. So if I talk about the broken x, I know that among the broken x, at max, uh, at max of 6 x can be broken every day out of the 60 laid x. So 6 into 5, 30 x are broken. Now again, to maximize the number of x which are broken, I will assume that every day 10 x are brought back. Out of the 10 x, 20 percent are broken. So 10, 20 percent of 10 is 2 and this will again be calculated only for 4 days that is day 2, day 3, day 4 and day 5. So in all 2 into 4, 8 x are broken, a total of 38. The difference is 2, hence the answer is B. What can be the maximum number of x that are unbroken and not rotten? that were left unsold at the end of 5th day. We are very sure at the end of the 5th day, a maximum of 10x can be left unsold. So, answer is A. Next, if the number of x sold on any day of the week is maximum possible, then what is the aggregate sum of the total number of x sold in the entire week? Here, one can do the same mistake which he, did, he could have done in first question of this set. We know that 42x cannot be sold on two days simultaneously because if one day 42x are uh, sold, 10 are brought back. If 10 are brought back, there will be 4 extra x to be sold next day. So next day the minimum possible would be 44. Similarly, one should not assume that 53x at max can be sold on two consecutive days. Because if on a particular day 53x are sold, that means 5x are brought back next uh, for the next day and out of the 5x there will be only 2 extra x to be sold. So in the first 53 if I have counted 4 extra x of the previous day, in the next day I will count only 2 extra x. So let's see, day 1, 49x can be sold, day 2, let's see. I know that when 49x are sold, only 5x are brought back. If 5x are brought back, there will be only 2 extra x to be taken to the market because 3 out of them, 3 will be broken and rot. Fine. A minimum of only 49 can be sold and 2 extra x can be sold. That is a 51x can be sold. And this 51 will be true because in this 51 also, I have assumed 5, 5x are brought back for uh, next day. Out of those 5, again 2 will be extra. So 49 plus 2 again will be 51, day 4 again will be 51 and similarly day 5 will again will be 51. So a total of 253x can be sold in a week. A maximum of 253x. Answer is A.